Part one, Icarus Speaks. Shaitan is busy, but Allah is powerful. There is a creation. We are living in it. We are living in this creation. Everything in this creation got to go according to law. It doesn't matter if you're a fish, a bird, a planet, a star, a human being, a blade of grass, a pineapple tree, a cockroach. Everything submits to the power of one. Everything submits to the power of one. Everything submits to Allah. Everything submits to Allah's laws. Now, there's laws that apply for the planets and the stars. It's gravity, quantum physics. There's laws that apply to all basic life forms, you know, molecular biology and such. The law that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to us in the Quran is laws about how we're supposed to carry ourselves. The sun twists in its way, it holds the earth, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, all of them in check. You have time. They all submit to the power of one. In our lives, we need to submit to the power of one. Now check it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is eternal. And we are not. So when he talks to us, it's kind of like, I don't want to say baby talk, but you know, you have a real super intelligent five-year-old. She doesn't have the same mental capacity that you have. So you can't talk to her on your level, right? right. When Allah talked to us, right, he talked to us in a language that we can understand so we can wrap our minds around, you know what I'm saying, what we need to do. But we right. can't grasp the whole full understanding. It is our duty, though, to study all of the laws that apply to us. Right? And the laws that apply to us is how we relate to ourselves, each other, Allah, and the world around us. MashaAllah. In the world around us. MashaAllah. Now, al Quran Maji, they say we need to humble ourselves. We need to humble ourselves. We need to humble ourselves to that force that created the universe, that directs the universe, that gives laws and orders to the universe. It's to our benefit. MashaAllah. It created us. We are his children. Mashallah. Not in a way that me and my wife, Sadi P, and his wife make children, but we creations. We're the result of the word of Allah. And we know our place so that we can submit only to him and rule over everything else. Right. We special because we are what's between Allah and creation. We submit to Allah and creation submit to us. You understand what I'm saying? You're the born middle man. Submit. You submit to Allah because Allah made creation submit to you. Straight up. These scientists, they, they, they think they know everything. But in reality, it got to be in Allah. Why do everything want to live? Why do everything want to reproduce? You understand what I'm saying? Why do everything want to do its thing? Why do we care? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, life don't make no sense if there's not in Allah. Straight up. If there's no Allah, how could it be life? If there's no Allah, how could there be life? How could we look in on ourselves, correct ourselves, uplift ourselves, pull others up with us, change our environment, our circumstance? We can change the very environment. We affect the weather. SubhanAllah, stop for a lot. These people are putting all kinds of chemicals in the lakes and the rivers and the waters and such. You know what I'm saying? Poisoning it. You know what I'm saying? Making the earth hotter with all the carbon dioxide they're putting in the air. We're supposed to be good stewards of this earth. Right. Humble ourselves to Allah and be good stewards of this earth. Right. And give praise. And raise our children right. MashaAllah. That's what's up. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Mubarak. All praise is truly due to Allah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. 
it, and I want to tell all y'all young folk, you sitting there 16, 17, 18, get your life together. Get your education. Give all praise to Allah. Mashallah. Love your mother. Mashallah. You know what I'm saying? Establish yourself so that you can be a good father, so that you can be a good mother, so you can be a good husband, so that you can be a good wife, so you can have a future. Get your education. Establish that. Shaitan is busy going to try to drag you down. You got to put yourself in a position to where you're able to take care of yourself and the ones you love and spread the word about Allah. And help change the world. Live good and help change the world. Be happy. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Successful. Alhamdulillah. Prosperous. MashaAllah. Straight up. Sada Pop. Straight up. Sada Pop. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us good, but only Allah is great. Sada Pop. And who do we submit to? Anybody else but Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people have cocaine as they got. Some people have alcohol as they got. Some people have sex as they got. Some people have money as they got. Some people have power as they got. Some people have violence as they got. Some people have self-esteem, like mm, big ego as they got. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, all praise due to me. Uh-uh. All praise due to Allah. Humble yourself. When you start following all that other stuff, that's when you get off track. If you follow the path that Allah laid down, you be healthy, happy, and successful. You have a good family life. Your wife gonna love you. Your children will respect you. And they grow up to be good people. Upstanding members of society. You turn your back on Allah, you end up in hell. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Mentally, because you know you messed up. Right. Spiritually, because you done sold your soul. Right. And physically, because you're going to be facing the punishment. Alhamdulillah. Allah is merciful. He may give you another chance, but you're going to have to face your punishment. Most merciful. Straight up. We only have to face our punishment, be accountable for whatever we do, right or wrong. When God, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put Adam and Eve in the garden, He gave them language, told them everything they needed to know. Everything they need to know. And gave them dominion over the earth. When they made that decision, Allah said, you know what? That means you're an adult now. You're grown. Now you go out into the world and you live by the rewards and the consequences of your actions. And you teach your children the same. You teach them how to be good men and good women. You know what I'm saying? And, and teach them good. So they can live by the rewards and the consequences of their actions and bless their children and so on and so forth down the line. Inshallah. Straight up. And that's why we're here. That's why we're here. God put Adam and Eve on earth, say, have dominion. Submit to me. You rule this world, but you submit to me. Alhamdulillah. What a great offer. Alhamdulillah. We can rule the world. All we have to do is submit to Allah. You can rule the world, the universe. Because Allah, in the uh, Quran Majid, it says Allah is the Lord of all worlds. All worlds. All worlds. Not one world, not some worlds, not a few worlds, not a couple worlds, not a world here and there. Allah is the Lord of all worlds. <laughs> Any world that exists, Allah is Lord of Masha'Allah. We go to another uh, 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 star system, another galaxy, meet us with some aliens. I bet you when we get to, to, there to their planet, they're going to have prayer rugs. Yeah. Kneeling down, giving praise to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Maybe Allah made them Lord over their planet. You know what I'm saying? Like Allah made us Lord over, over the earth, his vice general on earth. You know right. What I'm saying? So maybe they're supposed to rule their planet like we're supposed to rule ours. But I bet you they give praise to Allah. Yes, sir. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. The stars, the quasars, the pulsars, novas, supernovas, comets, asteroids, whatever, all that submit to Allah. The atoms submit to Allah. String theory submit to Allah. Stephen Hawking submit to Allah. Albert Einstein submit to Allah. Albert Einstein even said that creation was eternal. 
Einstein said the creation was eternal because he said E equals MC squared. That means energy can't be destroyed. It just settles down and turns into matter. Matter can't be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? When you blow it up, it just turns into energy. Stuff don't stop existing. You know what I'm saying? The creation is eternal. Allah made an eternal creation. It's said in the Quran. Allah is eternal. Straight up. Eternal. Eternal. Most high and supreme. Sort of pop. Straight up. Salay of Wasalam, the prophet of all prophets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. And on the Negro side, <laughs> they asked me what's about my blood. I said, I'm nothing but thug. Putting the tits on my toes, to the tits on my slugs. Putting it in my eyes, to the green of my lungs. And the only thing I love is pussy money and guns. Because in these days and times, with these gangs and crimes, what you say in rhymes, I display with nines. You don't play with mine to, from the verse of the Howard. Eat town to the hunters, we don't tolerate cowards. And I know you feel sad with cool champs and y'all talks. We play as y'all punks. I'm on the same from the Midwest. We're slaying them kings. Bring police at their knees. Do, do a murder for fees. And the man in the Midwest, nigga, where everybody know. Can rain, hell, snow, we got weed rocks and blow on my block. We ain't nothing but hood. All gangs are no good. If you could, then you would be from the Midwest. I'm in the Crook County Jet. I fell off but never failed to be back to raise hell across the Midwest. With the GDs, punks, stones, and laws, packing corn. 44s, we got many ass and more. The King's Breeze and Force smacking niggas like horse. We got Willie Lloyd, Larry Hoover, even Jeff Ford up in the Midwest. And the Alphonse Capone, and the organized street gangs don't come here alone. Cause even the crowd get jacked for your watching with your gazes and glocks and shots of cops up in the Midwest. Representing Shot Town, throw up the M and the Dub, cause you can't throw it down. Huh? Huh? <laughs>